Hey, this is Daryl from TechCrunch, and we're gonna take a look at Apple's latest desktop operating system, OS X 10.11 El Capitan. One of the big new features here is the split screen mode where you can take any app and pin it to one side of the screen or the other. And the way to do that is just to take the green radial button and do a longer click on that, and then you can assign it to one side of the display. Now, on the other side here, I don't have anything currently active, so let's open up another application, uh, say Mail, for instance, and then I can pin that to that side and select this one on the other, and I've got both running side by side, and you can change the size of the window, like so, uh, and work on both simultaneously. Another new feature in OS X 10.11 is Mission Control. So there's different access for Mission Control. You can just slide up and then you can see I've got my split screen view there. I've got my main desktop there. And if I had, let's go back into Safari here. Exit full screen. And you can very easily just bring them to the top of the screen. So you push up the top of the screen with your cursor and you can drop that into, for instance, its own brand new space. So let's take a look at that and click there, and now it's in full screen mode. Another new feature in El Capitan is Spotlight. So Spotlight's already existed before, but they've added things like new data sources from which it'll bring results, like for sports scores, for instance, but uh, that's not live yet in the beta. But what is live is this natural language search. So you can search for, for instance, emails I got yesterday, and it'll bring up a list of results of from mail, including attachments to PDFs that were attached to emails that I received yesterday. There are also a lot of new changes to some of the built-in apps, and Notes is one of the ones that got the biggest uh, switch here in 10.11. So let's take a look at the Notes app now. And as you can see right here, I've been taking notes um, from some of the WWDC uh, events that have been going on, but what it does is it now allows you to format things uh, so you can change the headline type, you can bold things, you can use italics. Um, everything is indexed and searchable, and links and images show up in line as well. Uh, and this is all synced across iCloud, just like Notes always has been. But it's much more full-featured now. It's a great uh, text editor replacement or word processor replacement if you don't need to do any sort of really serious work. And that's OS 10 10.11 El Capitan. So it's in preview right now for developers. There's a public beta coming in July, and you'll be able to get your hands on it uh, as a free update for everyone this fall.